Problem number 10. I've got 4 over 5 plus negative 3 over 10 is equal to x plus 1 and 1 half. Well, I just hate this problem because it has a bunch of fractions in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply um, by one of the denominators. But before I do that, I'd like for everything to be an uh, improper fraction if it's possible. So 1 and 1 half is the same as 3 halves, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 2 over 1. So 2 times 4 is 8 over 5. 2 times 3 is negative 6 over 10. Um, is equal to 2x minus or plus 6 over 2. Right? And so I'm going to get an extra sheet of scrap paper because this is going to take a little bit of time. Well, now I could do some reducing here. Okay? So the 8 over 5, not a whole lot I could do yet. Negative 3 over 10, uh, I could say by dividing the top and bottom by 2, I get negative 3 over 5. And that's equal to 2 times x, and then 6 divided by 2 is just 3. Cool. Well, I've got a denominator of 5 over here, so I'm going to try that one more time and multiply everything by 5 over 1. So that will give me 40 over 5 as I distribute that through, plus negative 15 over 5. 5 times 2x is 10x over 1. I don't need to write down the 1. Plus 5 times 3 is 15. Hey, these reduce. I've got 8. 8 plus mm, negative 3 is equal to 10x plus 15. So 8 minus 3 is actually 5 equals 10x. So far, so good. Well, now I'm going to undo what's being done to x, because remember, our goal is to get x by itself. So I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides, because originally I'm adding 15 to 10x. 15 minus 15 is 0, but over here I've got negative 10 is equal to 10 times x. 10 times x can be undone by dividing everything by 10 on both sides. And I get x is equal to negative 1. Hey, that's one of my answers, isn't it? Now, the problem with this is you've got to be very careful not to make a mistake. One thing that you could do to verify this is to plug the negative 1 back into that equation, if you have time. If you have time. But I have a little cheat sheet, and that says that it is the answer. Okay? Let's just scroll out for a second so you can see all the work. 